over here at the Silverstone Classic 2013, uh, about to start the racing. We do know the circuit, we have driven around it before, but with new modern cars, I think there'll be plenty of sideways moments. Eh? never know the track well enough. Um, that's number 14 excuse, I think, isn't it? But I sort of follow in this guy's lead, really, relying on him for advice. Then, as Barry said, we feed that back to the wizard, Dave, um, to, to work his magic on the car. I'm going to jump in the car first and do three timed laps and then that should be about halfway through then Gordo will jump in and finish the session. Oh, Barry will be miles ahead of me at home um, so he can pick up the pieces and I'll uh, bring up the rear as they say. Barry started, uh, did three flying laps, did fantastic time straight off. I jumped into the car, a uh, couple of seconds behind Barry, got on a lap that length, I'm happy with that. We're up against it time-wise, we've got half an hour, two drivers to get through that. Who knows what tomorrow's going to bring, but fingers crossed it's going to stay like this, that'd be fabulous. Well it's an hour roughly before we go out on track, so it's been a beautiful day so far and now you can see it, it's uh, torrential rain and thunderstorms and so cracking conditions for us Scottish boys, you know, we're used to this. Uh, to be honest, I favour breaststroke, um, so I'm going to stick with that. I don't crash, go as fast as you can for about 55 minutes and I'll do the last five. <laughs> Obviously it's going to be a massive lack of grip. We'll be in the hands of the gods a lot of the time. And just balancing the car on a knife head really. The rain was horrendous at the start, you know, it was uh, very difficult to see. At several stages I was trying to clean the inside of the windscreen without realising it was my glasses that were steamed up. I was a bit like Mr Magoo out there, I couldn't see a thing. We're getting better and better at it all the time. So yeah, I had a great fun out there.